Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Story Island here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we're doing another fun tribe deck. It's actually not mono red. It actually has some green in it as well. But before we get into it, I'm going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. We love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are going through the Burning Plains. And it's a dragon deck, actually. And yeah, we literally have all dragons, so yeah. Yeah, dragons. They won't just randomly not show up when I play them. <laughs> but of course, our champion of Dragon Hole, the Dracoborn, has dragons in both parts of his names. So, exhaust, pay one, discard one fire unit from your hand, add one non legendary dragon unit from your deck to your hand. Simple as that. Yeah, you're going to get to use that all the time because you get all the dragon. Yep. Next one is Kite, the Air Spirit. So, this one comes into play with once per turn during your turn, discard one card, return an air unit you control to its owner's hand. And if you do, switch one of your exhaust shards to act. So that's pretty cool. And then Soul Burst, return target unit with three costs less to the owner's hand. That can be your opponent's as well. All right, the first dragon of the deck is the Glittering Whelp. It is one for a 500. Arrive, you may reveal two dragons from your hand if you do a draw card. So it's just a free cantrip that can scout out towers, which yeah. is really, really nice. Which is nice. The next one is Juvenile Dragon. It's a one drop 1,000. Uh, when you control two or more dragon units, this card has quickness. Simple as that. Next up is the Exploding Dragon, 2 for 1500 when in Ruined. Uh, deals 1000 damage to target unit when he dies. So, really you good. get to kill a dude and kill another dude. Because this dude swings into a guy and kills him and then shoots the thing for 1000. Yeah, or hopefully hit the red tower and then just kill one of their units at the yeah. same time. Pretty good. Next one is Glow Shard Dragon, it's 2 for 1500. This one is overpowered. Uh, another, other dragon units you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponents control. So, that means. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Pay two, expel this card from your discard zone. Target dragon unit cannot be targeted by your opponent's spells or abilities this turn. So even after they kill it, it's still useful in the discard zone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. All right. The first green card of the deck is the Sky Tree Dragon. He has three for a 2,000, which is really good stats. Yeah. Uh, arrive. If you have two or more air units and return to your hand this turn, return dragon units to your hand. We don't Man. care about that. You're not really going to be able to do that. Uh, but when this card attacks, target unit cannot use Guardian this turn, and that's what you're wanting, because you're like, hey, cool, swing, don't Guardian. Yeah, the Thanks. whole time. Just don't Guardian this whole turn. Yeah. Uh, next one is Sansi Drake. It's a 4-drop 2,000. Arrive. If a unit was sent from your field to the discard zone this turn, you may return target unit to its owner's hand. So you can get your dude back. Pretty awesome. When a unit you control is returned to its owner's hand, you may give another target unit quick cast. So you can just bounce this and then give another dude quick cast. Yeah. Play. Super cool. Uh, next is Dragon Holt the Bowl. He is four for a 2,500. Arrive, you may reveal two dragon units from your hand. If you do, deal a thousand to all units your opponents control. And then dragon units you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponents control with cost equal to or less than the number of dragons you control. So you can get up to five and just be like, hey, don't target my stuff for yeah. under five. Just, just don't, don't do it. And of course, we have to have the classic one, <clears throat> Rayo Waven Rider. So, 4 drop 1500 quickness, because that's super awesome. And then also, Ruin. When it dies, uh, you put a Rayo unit token into play. That's a 1000. So, it replaces itself. And you kill towers. Simple as enough. Uh, next up is Viamont, the Crimson Guardian. He has 5 for a 3000. Arrive if there's a destroyed fire tower, you destroy target unit. And it's, it's just super strong because being able to be like play a three thousand dude and kill your guy is really really powerful. Oh yeah. Of course we have to have Dragon Hole Fury <laughs> Unleashed when he gets all armored up. It's a five drop five thousand. It's an Omega unit, so you have to place this on one or more of your dragon units. It has Destroyer. When this card attacks, you may put any number of units under this card in the discard zone. If you do, for each card you put in your discard zone this way, destroy target unit, augment or shard. Sure. So yeah, that's pretty cute. And don't forget on Omega, they're in whatever state they're in currently. So if they're untapped, you can put it on there and he gains, he auto gains uh, uh, quickness. Quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just be like, hey, cool, swing. It's just a thing. Uh, next is the Hidden Dragon of the Cloud Sea. It is seven for a 3,500. Uh, arrive, if you played at least two of the cards this turn, put it into two dragons with quickness. Um, and then pay three, discard this card from your hand, put it into play a quickness dragon, that's a 1,000. So you get free dragons with this guy, and if you get the seven drop and play extra stuff, then you get lots of dragons. Bayomot, the Draconic Deity, eight drop, 5,000, unit, it's legendary dragon, it's like one of the first cards of the first set, do you yeah. believe? Quickness, 
When this card costs two less to play, if you have five or more dragon units with different names in the discard zone, which you possibly could have, arrive. Expel target unit, and if you do, deal $2,000 to each unit that was adjacent to it. So it does, it blasts away for the rest of the team. Yeah, this dude is actually kind of insane if he gets to stick. Because you're just like, cool, kill those dudes out of my life. Yeah, just straight up. First spell of the deck is Draconic Blast. It is two for an instant cast spell. As additional cost to play this card, exhaust any number of dragon units you control. Deal X hundred damage to two, up to two targets. X is the number of dragons you exhausted. So you tap two dudes, you do two thousand. So you can kill whatever you need to. It yes, it takes away your attack, but so be it. If you're killing yeah. their dudes that you need to kill without losing yours, it's worth every bit. Or if anything, you play two small dudes past turn, <clears throat> and then on their turn, you just insta cast this and kill whatever they play. Of course, we have to have Omega Magic Kazi. It's a two drop insta cast, still 1500 damage to target attacking or blocking unit. And then if you have two or less towers remaining, deal 2000 damage to target unit, which could be the same one or a different one. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they attack correctly so you can get rid of two dudes. Uh, and then next is the Void Flame Expulsion, which is two for an insta cast spell. Play only while you control a fire unit. Neither player can add to the quo in response to this card. And then expel target unit or augment. And if you do, it's an owner who draws a card. So you get to just free kill a dude and nobody can do anything about it. Yeah, just get out of here. It's kind of what it's for. You draw a card, but I don't care. I just don't care. Now, of course, we'll get into the shards here. We have the Spirit Ruby, which is the one shard everyone should use. Uh, exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. Thank you very much. And then, of course, the Cypher Crystal. It's the green one. Uh, pay to destroy target augment if need be. And then normal shards. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have honorable mentions here. And one we can really, we can just kind of shove in the deck is Alter the Dragon God. <clears throat> it's a two drop augment, exhaust pay one, destroy target dragon unit you're, you control. And if you do search your deck for a dragon unit with the same cost, it put into play. Which is pretty cool because it just immediately puts it into play for sure. And that can, you can do a lot of fun tricks with that. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other sad, sad honorable mention is the Wyvern Crystal itself. It's the red special shard. Now, since you don't have the spirit as red, it comes into play tapped. But to be able to loot your creature, your dragons out might be good. Yeah, because it comes into play and returns a dragon from your graveyard to your hand. And if you do, you discard one. But yeah, being able to recur your dragons, like you were saying, is super strong. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, with that, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.